Hi there, Keith Scott Mumby here, and I'm going to talk to you about a very important health topic, and that's parasites. Parasites are something that affect practically every human being on Earth. 99% of us or more have one or more parasites. Now, when I say one parasite, I mean one species. That could be hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of examples of that species inside you. But a lot of people also have more than one species. Uh, it's a big topic. And uh, I've written you a book about this, which I've called The Complete Parasite Handbook. Okay, And this is, this is written for the layman. This is not highly technical. But at the same time, it's packed with a lot of information. I mean, there's a lot of material here that you need to know to be able to understand this health hazard. Now, uh, you know, health writers will talk to you about heart disease and cancer, or, you know, weight loss and arthritis and all these different health topics, but these only affect some people. There's almost nothing that affects every living human being or potentially can affect us all. Parasites are really quite unique like that, so you need to understand them. And also, I want to tell you that I've not bothered with a strange and very uh, sinister and some of them very deadly tropical diseases. There are lots of those. I've concentrated my firepower mainly on those diseases that affect developed countries and Western civilization and people who live there, but it's still a big problem. Let me tell you, for example, that 40 million Americans, just Americans in the USA, are affected with the enterobius worm. Five and a half million of those are children. Something like 14% of the population of the USA is affected by Toxicara. That's something you get from pets, dogs, mainly dogs and cats to a, a certain extent. It's a big problem. Listen, uh, it's an estimate that 800 million people worldwide are affected by the trichuriasis worm. That's just one example among the many. I mean, worms are very common. It's been estimated that there are something like four and a half billion worms on the loose. That's practically a worm per person. Now, of course, these worms don't all kill you, but nevertheless, they can make life very unpleasant. And for every person that hasn't got one, <laughs> there are some unfortunate people that have a lot. So I prepared for you this report. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can see it's got, it's got quite a jokey, sort of light-hearted theme on the cover, uh, cartoon parasites. That's to kind of relax you a bit. It is a very serious subject, and I certainly haven't dealt with it in a trivial way, but I've tried to keep it uh, a bit light-hearted in appearance at least. But this, this book is packed with the information and knowledge that you're going to need to be able to stay healthy in this respect. And it's a very important respect. I can't tell you how many people suffer from vague ill health, uh, fatigue and things. They don't really understand digestive problems maybe and don't really understand that it could be coming from a parasite. These are very sinister and very clever creatures indeed. They're probably the most successful class or type of animals uh, on the planet. And almost every living creature has a parasite. Even Listen, even bacteria have a parasite. They're called phages. They're uh, a kind of virus that feeds on, on bacteria. Uh, nobody's safe, okay? It's a big topic. And it's also a very fascinating topic. Uh, I put together what the basics of what you need to know about what you're up against. You know, the critters, I've called it the rogues gallery. What's out there, at least the main ones. But also, of course, very importantly, you want to know how to get yourself diagnosed. And that itself is a trick because most doctors don't even think of it. They won't help you. They don't know what to do anyway. A lot of laboratories are really poor. You know, they can look at a, a, a sample of a person's stool and just miss the fact that there are cysts and eggs and obvious parasites in there. They don't believe they're finding them, and so they don't. And, you know, it's the old story. If you don't, uh, if you don't believe it, you don't see it. <laughs> and these people really don't understand the scale of the problem. If you go to the right kind of laboratory, then you get the diagnosis. And, the, you know, the mysterious health negative suddenly has an explanation. You know where it's coming from. And, of course, you want to know how to treat these things. I've gone through all of that. There are a lot of very important, and I don't decry here, conventional orthodox medical drugs. Sometimes they're needed. Sometimes they're life-saving. Listen, if you have a, a pork tapeworm cyst inside your skull, it works like a brain tumor. Uh, I wouldn't mess around with herbs. I would take the drug of the day, okay? So w when it's serious and it's life-threatening, maybe even intravenously, people would need drugs to pull them out of it. Parasites can be very dangerous. 
But for the rest of us, <coughs> where they're just, uh, you know, we're getting by and the parasites are making it not as nice as it should be, you might be good with herbs and things, so I've gone into all that too. Of course, you'd expect me to cover all the key issues in uh, uh, alternative and herbal and holistic kind of medicine. Uh, I've done that too. So it's a very important book. It's one that you really need in your medical library. I can't tell you just how important it is. I can't overemphasize it enough. Uh, this is my parasite handbook, okay? Complete parasite handbook. Well, a complete handbook would maybe, maybe so thick, you know, that cover all the parasites of the world. But as I said, I focus my firepower just on those that we, me we meet in uh, developed and civilized countries. But you know, we're not free of the, the threat of tropical and foreign diseases anymore. <clears throat> as I point out in the book, for example, a lot of food that goes into, let's take America, the USA, I live here, why not? A lot of food that's sold in USA supermarkets comes from China. So immediately the health of the Chinese population is an issue. And I can tell you they're riddled with worms. Some areas they've got over 50% infestation just with ordinary, very unpleasant intestinal worms. People who handle, the, you know, they have on their, their bodies and their fingers and they handle food are going to transfer eggs and cysts. You're at risk. There's another notorious parasite called Cyclospora. It's not endemic in the USA, but there are, there are outbreaks of this all the time and it can be very serious. A famous outbreak took place in Santa Barbara and it laid down all of the anesthet anesthetists or anesthesiologists in three counties because they'd all been to a, a dinner, a sort of special dinner just for anesthesiologists, and the dessert was raspberries contaminated with this particular parasite. All the, uh, all the doctors ended up in bed. They were too sick to work. They had to cancel surgery lists. That's how serious it can be. It's a parasite from someplace else, but it comes in on food, you know. Uh, so jet travel and the, the way food's moved around the planet has made parasites, all parasites, an issue to all human beings. And that's why I recommend this book to you and why I think you should get it. Uh, I think you're very under-informed if you don't know about parasites and don't know how to deal with them. All right, thank you very much.